Hi everyone, so welcome to Rodha. My name is Tarun Malik, and we are starting with a new series which is called Short Tricks, Smart Tricks, and if you call it in Hindi, Jugad, right? How to solve questions without doing much effort, right? Using options, using some tricks, okay? So I'll be having some 10, 12 sessions about that, right? So we are taking actual cat questions in the series. So it's not like that that I have created the questions and options, right? Or somebody else. So I have picked questions from actual cat papers starting from previous four or five years and before that also, right? 2008, seven. Over the years, many many questions were there which can be solved without doing much effort, right? And obviously, when the cat papers were not available uh, online or uh, in public rather right like when you talk about cat 09 onwards right till 16 okay so we have memory based questions for that also which are actually based on smart tricks and a lot okay why i can say so because i am a rigorous cat takers i have taken cat 18 times so i know i i remember the questions right so when the paper was not available right so i i recall the questions and uh, write it down right so i know uh, some good pool of uh, questions on in that era right all right so let's start with the same we will be doing some uh, a series of this so uh, at least 10 uh, to 12 uh, sessions about that right and the agenda is pretty simple short videos three questions per video right so once you start solving it using these approaches you'll be able to solve you will be able to realize that how the question can be solved using some of the other tricks right okay some of the tricks are general right and some can be question specific and the option specific obviously yeah so actual cat questions let's start with the same right first uh let this is my first video regarding this so let's introduce myself this is written as of you can see right so i am mentor and academic content head at Koda. i have more than 20 years of experience 10 plus years experience of content and product management 80 times cat taker as I told you and my highest percentile in cat QADI is 100 right not every time but yeah <laughs> alright so let's start with the same with the okay I will try to explain questions in both languages okay so that everybody can uh, take benefit from this Hindi may be explained karenge, English may be explained karenge, right so that will be helpful I guess you know all right, start with it. Basic idea, uh, pause the video, try it for some time, two, three minutes, try for us and then again resume, okay? Now, because it's a short trick session, I will not give you the proper approach because that will take time, all right? So, I'm just giving you the shortcut approaches, how you can solve these questions without doing much effort, right? So, pause the video, give it a try, check karo kitna time hota hai, all right? This is actual CAD question, CAD 13 or 12 I think, as of as I remember, very short Mayata, right? So options were also like this, okay? All right, so let's start solving it now. I hope everybody has solved it, right? So the question is, sum of first n terms of an AP arithmetic progression is 100, and the sum of next n terms of the same AP is 300. Find the ratio of common difference and the first term, right? So you have sum of first n terms and sum of next n terms. Yeah. So generally, what you do, you will make equations. You'll say S n is equal to this. S next n is equal to this. That means simply I can say if first n term sum is this, next n term sum is this. So we can say sum of two n terms will be 100 plus 300. That is 400. And then you can make two equations and solve it. Correct? This is the proper approach using the summation formula of AP. Right? But I'll not do that. I'll use the trick. Okay? These are the actual CAT options, remember. The basic idea, the basic fundamental is that whenever in a series question or otherwise also N is involved, mostly it will help in series. Okay? AP, GP, HP, and miscellaneous series also. So, for n terms, I can specify the value of n. That's the basic Jogard or short term. 
one more important point to be noticed there is no terms in the options which involves n kahin bhi option mein n nahi hai in the question we have n sum of n terms sum of next n terms but that's not the case with the options what does it mean it means that the answer is independent of the value of n n ki value kuch bhi ho mere answer pe farak nahi padega otherwise one of the option could have been can not be determined or can't say but aisa to nahi hai it's not like that not none of the option was there right okay so then what we can do so if the answer is independent of n that means i can put any value of n and what is the easiest value of n i and i can put one let us say n is equal to 1 right if n is equal to 1 what does it mean the sum of first one term is 100 sum of first one term means what one or first so can i say the first term is 100 and sum of next one term is 300 next one term means second term only sum of next one term that is 300 so second term is what 300 are you clear I'm saying if you put n equal to one, अगर आप n के लिए one डालते हो, so sum of first one term, पहली एक term का sum hundred है, पहली एक term का मतलब क्या हो गया? कि पहली term ही hundred, and sum of next one term, अगली एक term का sum three hundred है, तो अगली एक term एक ही हुई, second term, पहली term hundred हो गई, दूसरी three hundred हो गई, common difference कितना हो गया? Two hundred, first term कितनी है? Hundred, what you need to find ratio Of common difference and first term d by a is clearly two. Only one option is there. I hope the logic is clear. The shortcut is clear. Smart trick. Now, even if n was not in the option, suppose n option me hota. Sorry, my bulta bola. Suppose n option me hota. If the n was it have been in the options, then what? Suppose the options were. n 2n 1.5n 3n something like that right then also this logic can be applicable for example when you put n equal to 1 you get the common ratio as 2 so check the options whichever option gives you value of d by a as 2 when you put n is equal to 1 will be my answer aap options mein jab aapne n ki value 1 put ki to aapka answer aaya 2 That means अगर आप ऑप्शन में एन के लिए वन डालोगे तो जो भी ऑप्शन टू देगा वही आपका आंसर होगा बट इसमें एक पॉइंट ये भी एड हो जाता है दैट ट्राई टू फाइंड सच वैल्यूज ऑफ एन ट्राई टू पुट सच वैल्यूज ऑफ एन विच फॉर विच नो टू ऑप्शन आर सेम ऐसी वैल्यू एन की मत लेना जिसके लिए दो ऑप्शन सेम बन जाए है ना जैसे यहाँ पर अगर आप एन को वन लोगे तो ऑल अदर ऑप्शन में डिफरेंट बट सम ऑफ द केसेस इट माइट भी पॉसिबल दैट इफ यू पुट एन इज इक्वल टू वन देन Two of the options were same. Then we have a confusion on that, right? Then we can check for other other values of n. N is equal to three, four, five checkers, okay? For all these type of questions, at least. I hope the first trick is clear, right? This is the general trick, which can be applicable to many, many, many cat questions, right? Which for some of will we will be discuss also in the this video or upcoming video. All right. So that's all your first question. I have given you a hint about how to solve it also, but you should try it at home. All right. Uh, second, this I think catch twelve question. Uh, a twelve-sided polygon, regular polygon, is described in a circle. So, a circle is that under twelve sides of polygon. Find the ratio of the area of the polygon to that of the circle. So, how to? I mean, if the proper approach, let me give you a hint. I am not solving it. I will give you a hint that you can, you will be able to solve it regularly. So for a regular polygon, if you need to find the uh, area, what is the logic? Logic is that if you join the center with two of the vertices, consecutive vertices. So this whole angle is 360, and I have divided this into 12 parts. This is nothing but 30 degrees. Correct. and this is nothing but radius of the circle right so i can use 
the area of triangle formula half a b sin theta and 12 times that will be my answer got it so that's how you can find the area of a regular polygon inscribed in the circle okay not circumscribed that will be more difficult all right so that's how you will be able to find the area and then pi r square is there so obviously you can find the some uh, ratio also but obviously that's not the short trick or the smart approach what is the smart approach even i mean i have i have made the uh, picture right but even if you will be able to uh, make it in the cat exam when you form a circle and try to form a 12 sided polygon you will realize that it is almost coincident with the circumference as you can see also jab aap ek 12 sided ka polygon banaoge right aap 6 sided ko to easily bana sakte ho how hexagon banana aapko aata hi hai right right to usse bhi idea mil jayega ki ha abhi ek side aur add karenge if you add one 12 six more sides it will be very much closer to circumference right what does it mean can i say the ratio of areas of polygon to that of circle will be almost equal because this area and circle area is almost same isn't it so whichever option gives you value as approximately 1 will be my answer that's for sure clear and as a shortcut take pi is equal to 3 okay not 3.14 will eventually discuss it later also that what is the effect of 3.14 but that's it so if you put 3 is equal pi is equal to 3 here option a gives you 2 by 3 0.6 very far than 1 not my answer 5 by 2 by 5 by 6 again i have i need as close as possible right option 3 is almost 1 so it actually gives you 1 when you put 3.14 right and obviously any point clear hai na ki uh, the area of polygon has to be slightly less than that of circle chota hona chahiye because wo andar hai so upar wali value badi hai niche wali value sorry upar wali value choti hai niche wali wali badi hai there has to be 3 upon 3.14 this is my closest option and d is more than 1 option d 1 se bada hai to waise bhi out hai so this is the only option left i have not made the options these are actual cat options i have solved it like that only in the exam right remember remember to apply these kind of shits so you can see how much time you can save if it clicked that's the important point yeah क्लिक होना जरूरी है ऐसा भी कर सकते हैं राइट कि एरिया ऑलमोस्ट बराबर होगा तो दैट्स द ओनली केस व्हिच इज लेफ्ट नाउ लेट मी गिव एन इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी अबाउट दैट दिस कम्स आई थिंक 12 इन 13 आई मीन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट कंसेक्यूटिव इयर्स कैट इयर्स पुरानी बात हो गई उतना याद नहीं है बट इन कंसेक्यूटिव इयर्स सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन अपीयर ट्वाइस सो फर्स्ट ईयर इट वाज इनसाइड द सर्कल इन द सेकंड ईयर इट वाज आउटसाइड द सर्कल सरकमस्क्राइब कर रहा था then also this logic is applicable and now the area of polygon should be more than circle and that's not easy as easy to calculate as this one yaha to aap easily nikal pa rahe ho half ab sin theta in total that's not a problem right but when the polygon is outside the circle then used to use trigonometry also okay sin 15 tan 15 nikalna padega wo difficult ho jayega definitely but options were also not that easy in that case but the trick worked trick kaam kiya tha है ना मैंने वो कुछ इसलिए दिया बिकॉज आई डू नॉट रिमेम्बर द ऑप्शन बनाऊंगा तो फिर वो जबरदस्त सारी बात हो जाएगी कि मैं तो ऐसी ऑप्शन बना रहा हूँ जो क्लोज टू वन नहीं होगी बट इट वॉज देयर राइट बिकॉज इट वॉज अगेन इन माई स्लॉट सो अगेन सेकेंड ईयर भी मैंने ऐसे ही क्वेश्चन किया था बार ठीक है ज्योमेट्री में भी काफी चलता है सो बीस टाइम ऑफ ट्रिक्स मोस्टली वर्क इन एलजेबरा एंड ज्योमेट्री राइट But yeah, it's not like that. Arithmetic will not be done. Arithmetic will be done. Okay. Let's see. Third question is again 
बेस्ड ऑन एलजेब्रा दिस इज आई थिंक लास्ट टू थ्री ईयर्स में किसी का है राइट लेटेस्ट क्वेश्चन राइट इफ ए वन ए टू ए थ्री आर इन ए पी अगेन एटमेटिक क्वेश्चन आ गया देन द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इज इक्वल टू रिमेंबर द शॉर्टकट वी डिस्कस इन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी नीड टू साइन फाइंड सम ऑफ दिस सीरीज अप टू एन टर्म्स बेसिक आइडिया वॉट इफ एन इज इक्वल टू वन इफ एन इज इक्वल टू वन देर हैड बीन ओनली वन टर्म सम मस्ट बी इक्वल टू वन ओवर रूट ए वन प्लस रूट ए टू नाउ चेक द ऑप्शन विच एवर ऑप्शन गिवस यू वन विल बी माई आंसर ऑप्शन ए when you put n is equal to 1 gives you 1 over root a1 plus root a2 which is that only it could be my answer right i am not certain as of now option b gives you n is equal to 1 when you put it it will be 0 this will be 0 and option d gives you 1 over root 1 रूट ए वन माइनस रूट ए टू सर्टेनली आउट बिकॉज आई नीड प्लस सो दिस इज आउट दिस इज आउट दिस इज आउट दिस इज द ओनली केस लेफ्ट ऑप्शन ए एक्चुअल कैट ऑप्शन एक्चुअल कैट क्वेश्चन राइट एंड नाउ आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट थर्टीन टेन ईयर्स बैक ओके दिस इज द लेटेस्ट क्वेश्चन लास्ट फोर फाइव ईयर्स All right. So I hope you have some idea about what kind of tricks and yoga we were discussing in these kind of sessions, right? One important point: it's not necessary that you will eventually get one question in every slot. I'm not saying that. But even if you get one, you'll be able to solve one more question. And going by the score versus percentile of last year, you can. obviously see that what one question or three marks can made a impact on your percentile right so if i be able to solve at least one question we will do on that the time i can save will be able to help me do one more question plus 3 gives you very good percentile right okay all right then so this is the first video we will quickly put the second video also and subsequent videos with more such actual cat questions and once we are finished with cat we will be focused on z and other exams also right we never it sets up thank you all right sure all right then thank you very much see you again in the next video bye bye